Ahmed Murid Partao. He is the former Afghan envoy to the US military. Ahmed, thank you so much for your time. First of all, very briefly, so we can move on. Is this a credible story, yes or no? I think it's a credible story. Uh, this was actually conveyed to the Afghan leadership approximately two weeks ago uh, in the wake of this uh, fusing leadership crisis after a disputed September elections that uh, Abdullah and Ghani uh, simultaneously declared, declared themselves to be president. Uh, so right now, as the U.S. is trying to negotiate with the Taliban, the main challenge remains that uh, uh, the current political uh, crisis in Kabul be resolved in order to uh, pave the way uh, for a broad-based uh, uh, inclusive negotiation with the uh, Taliban, which is one of the main goal of the present administration. But isn't there a huge problem here if President Trump is putting that kind of pressure on Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah? Because surely that kind of pressure means that they start their negotiations from a weaker position and it strengthens the Taliban. It's obvious. It's almost too easy to say that Donald Trump cares more about pulling American troops out of the country than Afghanistan getting the deal that it should have to ensure its security for a long time to come. Uh, th that's correct. I concur with that uh, assessment. But the main problem, as I mentioned, is the current political crisis. You cannot uh, get a deal or enter a negotiation, uh, especially from a position of strength, which is the desire of both the Afghan government as well as the United States side, uh, with the Taliban without a unified, uh, effective government in Kabul. So the main challenge is uh, the current political crisis, which uh, we, uh, as we uh, see right now, things are uh, uh, going to be uh, difficult, uh, even in the weeks and months ahead, because we don't have, we have two uh, political rivals who do not uh, accept each other. So, you know, one has been declared as the president and the second uh, heavily dispute those, those results. Uh, so there has to be a government of uh, reconciliation or, or a national unity government again so that you can form a, a, a legitimate and capable uh, group uh, to start negotiations with the Taliban. Although there has been a 21 uh, members group uh, uh, already announced by the Afghan government, but the Taliban has already rejected that because the Taliban sees uh, uh, the current uh, fissure and division uh, in Kabul as a sign of um, victory for themselves. And that's why they have rejected the current uh, uh, negotiating team. Ahmed, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ahmed Mourid Partal speaking to us from Tampa.